Hello, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. Welcome back to House Frau Friday. This is a segment on my permaculture YouTube channel where I discuss domestic skills and ecological living. So today I want to do a little instructional video. I picked up this fabric at the thrift store and there was quite a lot of it. I thought well, this, this kind of feels like wool and it was half off. So that made it $4 for close to what I would estimate about three and a half yards of this really nice, pretty good weave. And I thought, well, this would make a nice winter skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and get it and I'm gonna bring it home and I'm gonna figure out if it's wool. So since I need to go ahead and test it, I thought I would do a little demonstration of how you determine the fiber content of thrifted yarn or thrifted fabric or thrifted clothing. So I'm going to be testing for you all today four different kinds of material. I have acrylic, which <laughs> I don't actually have very much acrylic uh, clothing or uh, material in our house. I had to go steal a little bit off of the inside seam of one of my daughter's 100% acrylic sweaters because I don't have any acrylic fabric or yarn in the house, but um, teenagers to the rescue. I have a little bit of linen left over from a recent sewing project. This is 100% European linen. I have 100% cotton yarn. This is just the like dish rag cotton that you use to, to knit dishcloths with. And then I have a little bit of the fiber that I cut off of this fabric purchase. And we're gonna test all of these and figure out what the fiber content is. So I find the easiest way for me to determine what I'm working with is to do a burn test. And when you burn different materials, they react differently. So if you burn a plant-based material, it's going to behave uh, both in terms of its flammability, the speed at which it burns and the odor it gives off. It's gonna behave differently than an animal fiber like silk or wool or alpaca. And both the uh, plant fibers like linen or cotton are going to behave differently than an acrylic fiber, which is plastic. It's a petroleum byproduct and it will behave very differently than a natural fiber. Now, first of all, when you are testing these fibers, these are these three are known 100%, and I'm going to figure out what this one is. You can tell sometimes when you burn if you have a blend or not, but it can be difficult to determine the percentage. So this just tells you if you're working with 100% natural fiber, 100% acrylic, a non-natural fiber, or a blend, but not necessarily the percentage of the blend. So I'm going to grab my tweezers here, and I'm going to start first with the linen. Now, if you're flame testing, obviously make sure that you are in an area that is well ventilated. When you burn these materials, some of them give off toxic fumes. So I'm in my bathroom with the fan going and the window open. So first let's test the linen. And when you light linen on fire, it burns pretty bright. It burns pretty nicely and it gives off an aroma like burnt paper, like you're starting a fire in the fireplace, which makes sense. Linen is made from flax. So you can see that it holds a flame, it doesn't go out, but it burns kind of slowly. And again, it smells like burnt paper and there's not really any smoke coming out from it. I'm gonna set it here. And when it goes out, it behaves a little bit like a candle wick. It doesn't crumble completely into ash, but there are kind of distinct segments. So now let's try another natural plant fiber. Let's try the cotton, same thing. Burns nicely, the flame is a little bit brighter than the linen, burns a little bit faster, and the aroma is the same, like burnt paper. It doesn't smell unpleasant at all, it just smells like I am lighting a fire in the fireplace. Okay, so now I'm gonna burn a small piece of acrylic. Now, because I know the fiber content of this, Acrylic is 100% plastic. It gives off toxic fumes when you burn it. And so I'm gonna burn a very, very small piece because it's a known quantity and I don't wanna be inhaling this. So I put it up to the flame. And you can see it just coils back and like melts. It doesn't really burn how you would think. And the, the end product, I don't know if you can see it on the end here, is, oh God, it smells terrible, y'all. It stinks really bad. Um, it's a acrid, unpleasant odor. I don't know if you can see the end of this here, it's just melted and formed kind of like a hard gummy residue. It's not ash. Whereas if we look at our natural fiber, plant fibers here, it's kind of like burning a candle wick. It's crumbly, it's ashy, it leaves soot. The acrylic is really malodorous. It leaves these little hard gummy melted balls at the end. You can easily tell it's acrylic. 
So with 100% wool, um, oh, so before I burn this, I'm gonna run and grab a sample of 100% wool. Hang on one second. Okay, before I burn my mystery fiber here from this fabric that I bought, I went and snagged a piece of 100% wool. This is from Peace Fleece Yarn. And this is a blend of actually Russian and American wool, 100% wool. I'm gonna take some of this and burn it and describe it for you. So when you burn it, you see that it burns fairly quickly, but then it burns out fairly quickly. Wool has a hard time staying ignited. When you burn wool, it cannot hold a flame very well and it goes out fairly quickly. And the resulting residue is crumbly. And again, it leaves that soot. So the two main differences between burning animal fiber like wool and burning plant fiber like this linen is that the wool goes out fairly quickly. We saw the cotton and the linen both hold a flame for quite a while and the cotton especially burned quite brightly. The wool tends to go out fairly quickly. I'll show you again real quick. It doesn't hold a flame very well. Sometimes it can even be hard to ignite. You can see it crumples down, boom, it's out. Wool is naturally fairly flame retardant, which makes it a wonderful natural material. Water resistant, it is flame retardant, and it is really good at cooling and warming you, even if it is completely saturated with water. So wool is a wonderful diverse natural fiber. The second thing about burning it is that it stinks to high heaven, but in an entirely different way than my acrylic. So my acrylic yarn smelled acrid and terrible, like burnt plastic. It smelled really bad, like something you don't wanna be in a room with because it's toxic. This smells like you catch your hair on fire. Like in Little Women, how Amy says, what's that smell? Like burnt feathers. That's what this smells like. Burnt animal product, burnt hair, because that's literally what it is. So now I wanna test my mystery fiber that I got here off this fabric. I took some off and I could tell right away that the warp pieces feel a little bit cottony to me. You can see there's all these little um, fuzzy bits, which is part of the reason I thought it might be wool. It looks like there are some pokey fibers that could be animal fiber and it feels wool, uh, wool-like. But then also it's clear to me that some of the warp looks and when I break it, it feels like cotton. So let's just light it on fire and see what we have here. Okay, so it's burning pretty bright, burning pretty quick. It definitely is giving off an aroma. To me, it smells like a mix of burnt hair, very strongly of burnt hair, and a little bit papery. So it burned really bright. That says to me that it's probably not acrylic. It says it's probably not wool. It held a flame for a long time, like cotton would. That's what I would expect from cotton. Let's examine, now that's cooled off a bit here, examine the resulting ash here. Oh, it's very sooty and very crumbly, so not behaving like an acrylic. It's not those gummy balls of melted plastic. It's very sooty, like you would expect from a natural fiber. It definitely has an aroma of burnt hair, but I think what I'm dealing with here is a wool cotton blend based on the way it burned. So that's my assumption. I feel pretty good that this here has no acrylic in it. I didn't get any melting. I didn't get any of that really stinky, nasty petroleum burnt plastic aroma when I lit it on fire. Definitely smelled like burnt hair. Definitely had a bright flame that burnt for longer than I would have expected from wool. So I'm gonna assume that what I have here is a wool cotton blend, which seems about right now that I'm really handling it and feeling it. So to me, I have here enough of this really nice kind of pale raspberry cream color with these little flecks in it, that I can make a skirt, at least one if not two skirts, one for me and one of my daughters for winter out of this. So that's exciting. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you wanna learn how to test your fibers, your mystery yarns, your mystery fabric that you buy at the thrift store, a flame test is a good place to start to determine if you have an acrylic, if you have a plant fiber, if you have an animal fiber, or if perhaps you have a blend of two or three. I hope this was helpful for you and I will be back soon for my permaculture garden. Thanks.